everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my memory spread and this is for last week which was April 6th through the 12th and for this week I'm so excited because I'm going to be using this copper cacti kit from Sweet Fox Papery. I shared this in a haul um, a few videos ago but this is a kit that I just absolutely love. Um, I'm not quite sure if her shop is open right now because I know the shop owner Emily is a teacher and I'm sure she's just got her hands full right now with everything going on um so i'm not quite sure if you'll be able to purchase this right now but she does have some of the most unique kits for sure um this one like i said is called copper cacti the quote box here says we grow when things are hard and i felt like this is so perfect for the week that i'm using it for because i actually had um kind of a really hard week emotionally it was our spring break and so i didn't have work and um with the quarantine not working actually made me feel really unproductive and just um just really down so i think this quote really resonated with what I was going through. This next page here has the full box checklists. And then here we have the amazing bottom washi. I just love this concept so much of it being like these little shelves that the plants are sitting on. We've got some half boxes, quarter boxes, a sidebar tracker, um, some headers, a weekend banner, which I absolutely adore. We've got some little things, check flags, and then these um, hexagon icons. And then the last page here has the date covers, which I also love because they're also little shelves with the cacti on them. We've got a hydrate box, a three heart checklist, some large deco pieces and then another Monday through Sunday box. So I'm going to be using both of these in my sidebar as I usually do. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started as usual by placing down the bottom washi and then I will continue to build the spread from there. While I'm putting down my bottom washi and building my sidebar, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share some exciting news with you guys. Um, so as most of you probably already know, I have partnered up with Sophie from Planner Just For You to create stickers from my handwriting. And um, we just had our grand opening last Saturday. So thank you so much to all of you who have already supported and made your purchases or who are just interested and have been so kind and encouraging. I truly appreciate that. Um, so anyways, the exciting news for this week is that we decided to release our second set of stickers. Um, this is a lot sooner than we were expecting initially. We thought we'd kind of, you know, give it some time and then slowly work on the second set, but we've received quite a few requests for quarantine related stickers, and we figured that it would be better to release these sooner than later so that you guys might still be able to use them while we are um, in this quarantine mode. So there's going to be six scripts that are part of this collection, as well as a little freebie that has masks of different colors, which is again, very appropriate for this time. Um, and the scripts are going to be quarantine, order delivery, video chat, virtual meeting, work from home, and a sheet that just says at home and stay home so that you can just attach it to anything that's in your planner. Um, we thought these would be pretty good scripts to have during this time because I know a lot of us are, you know, working from home and doing a lot of virtual meetings and things like that um, because we just came up with this idea a few days ago. Um, I don't actually have the physical stickers yet, but the stickers will be in the shop by the time that this video is up. We are coordinating it that way so that you guys can go check it out if you're interested in purchasing some quarantine related stickers. And also Sophie is going to send me some photos so that I can include them at the end of this video just so you can see like what the stickers look like even though I don't have it physically yet to show you guys. So yeah that is the update for planner just for you this week and I hope you guys like those stickers. Now moving back to my spread I've put down the bottom washi, the sidebar, and the date covers now. Um, so for Monday I first started by placing down a today header then I used an appointment label from the kit with this deco piece to mark that it was the start of my spring break. And um, even though it sounds like something that would be really exciting, like I said in the intro, it was actually kind of a hard week because without work, I just was feeling super blah. Um, also, it was raining like half the week, so I was also just feeling really gloomy and down. Um, the rainy day sticker that I put down is from Hazel Sticker. I then used a three heart checklist to mark some things I did. And that little dish sticker I think is from Let's Plan It. I placed down a full box and then I decided to cut it down a little so that I had more room at the bottom to fit a half box and I also moved up the checklist a little bit so I could create more space. Continuing with the day, I used a half box to mark that I did a YouTube binge that night and that script sticker is my writing so it's from Planner Just For You and I really love how it looks in my planner. It saves me the trouble of having to write it myself and the laptop sticker is from Sticker Blush. At the end of the night, we watched TV, so I used the hexagon icon that came with the kit. 
On Tuesday, I first started by placing down a full box. Then I used a little things from the kit with this rainy sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio to mark that Tuesday was another rainy day. Um, I then pulled in a half box with a TV sticker that is from my spoiled planner. And I wrote that we binge the new season of Terrace House that just got released on Netflix. Um, the brush lettering pen that I'm using is from Pilot. I then used a piece of deco and layered a planner just for you workout time sticker that I wrote on top of that. And I really love how that turned out. Um, that one I think is in the larger size and it actually still fits nicely with an icon next to it. I then placed down some boxes and on the quarter box, I used a hexagon icon from the kit to mark that I shared some of my academic resources from my Google Classroom, but I didn't like the way that I had initially written it. I feel like there wasn't enough space for what I wanted to write and then it ended up looking really squished. So I just decided to white it out and rewrite it. On the half box, I used this Cat and Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that my friends and I did a Tiger King Zoom costume party. So we all dressed up as a different character from Tiger King. And of course it was just as ridiculous as it sounds um, and just did our weekly video chat and played some games. So it was really fun. Then on Wednesday, I placed down a full box at the bottom before I moved back to the top. At the top of Wednesday, I used a Today header with a washi strip from the kit. That shoe sticker was from my leftover stash, so I'm not quite sure where it was from. And then I did use my brush lettering pen to mark that I did 20 minutes of yoga that morning, but um, I really don't like how that turned out, partially because it's on Wednesday and it's like really hard to write next to the coil. Um, so that is definitely a challenge. Then I placed down a little things to mark my lunch. And underneath that, I cut down a heart checklist into four hearts and pulled in a to-do header on top of that to mark some errands that I did that day. Wednesday was my grocery day and I also was trying to find some toilet paper because we're down to like two rolls left. Um, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find any at Target. So I'm gonna have to try my luck somewhere else this week. I then put down a little car icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we went and grabbed some passion fruit from a friend um, who grows a bunch of it in his yard. And don't worry, we had no contact with them. They weren't even home at the time. So we just went through their side gate into their backyard and grabbed them and left. So um, again, zero contact and we sanitized everything when we got home. Then on the appointment label, I used a TV emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we watched more Terrace House that night. On Thursday, I first placed down a half box at the top. I pulled in this rainy day sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio again because it was raining a lot on Thursday. And because of the rain, I just felt extra lazy and extra unproductive. I pulled in a three heart checklist to mark some things that happened that day, um, which included a YouTube binge. So I pulled in this YouTube binge sticker, which again is from Planner Just For You. The nail polish sticker is from Planning Like A Pro. And then I put down a full box underneath that. I then used a hexagon to mark that I FaceTime with my friend and her baby, and I messed up when I was writing her name, so I had to rewrite it on an empty part of the sticker paper and um, stick it down on my planner. I did a workout after that, so to mark that, I used two strips of washi and a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You, as well as a shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, we watch more TV, so I use this quarter box from Dizzy Dizzy Dreams, and the TV icon is from Nicole Hutch Designs. For Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top because I already knew where I wanted that one. Um, because that's the same pattern as the bottom washi, I made sure that I used that full box at the top of my day instead of at the bottom so it wouldn't be too close to the same pattern. I then placed down a half box at the bottom because I already knew I wanted to mark something there. And then um, moving back to the center of my spread, I put down another half box with this really frustrated girl from Paper Bear Co. to mark that when I was trying to edit my video, I ended up losing all the footage. Um, so that was my last plan with me, um, which didn't actually happen. And of course I was really devastated, but it is what it is. So I just had to refilm that video as best as I could. I then placed down a washi strip with this piano sticker from Plans with the Nest to mark that I started to learn a new song on the piano. It's Gravity by Sarah Bareilles, which is such an amazing song. Um, so I was really excited to learn it. Then I used this curry sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I made some tonkatsu curry for dinner that night. In the remaining space, I wanted to mark my workout. So I pulled in this dumbbell sticker from Sunset Sticker Co, but I don't think her shop is open anymore. 
on the half box, I marked that we did a virtual game night with my sister and her roommates, and um, they purchased a few new games that we could play virtually, so that was really, really fun. Um, then moving to Saturday, the first thing I did was place down a full box at the very bottom, and then I decided to lift up the Saturday and Sunday date covers because I really wanted to use the weekend banner instead. Um, this is something I have done in the past before, also with Sweet Box Paper Read Kits. I feel like the weekend banner is just so gorgeous that it actually looks really good there at the top. It also allows me to save space in the day if I have a lot of things to mark. For Saturday, I first used a Today header and then I pulled in this quarter box with a envelope sticker. I think that's from Paper and Milk and I used that to mark that it was the opening of Planner Just For You, which is super, super exciting. Then underneath that, I used a hexagon to mark that I uploaded a video to talk about our grand opening. I then grabbed some boba for takeout that day, so I used an appointment label with a boba sticker from Happy Daya Stickers. Um, then the emoji that I placed down, that one is wearing a bikini. It's super cute. I used that to mark that I went outside and did some tanning because it was finally sunny. And I also did a video chat with some friends through the app House Party. At the end of the night, we did a Netflix binge, so I used this TV sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. For Sunday, I first started by placing down a half box at the very top, then I pulled in the sleeping mask sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I had a really lazy Easter Sunday. I then used a little things underneath that to mark my lunch. I put down a full box and then I used a three heart checklist and a to-do header to mark some things that I did that day. Um, we did quite a bit of cleaning and I wanted to mark that. The Cleaning Girl sticker I pulled in is from Little Star Plans. I then used an appointment label with another workout time sticker from Planner Just For You and a dumbbell sticker from Sunset Sticker Co, which like I said, I don't think is open anymore. And then at the end of the night, we watched the newly released last episode of Tiger King. And I definitely wanted to mark that because um, that show is just ridiculous. And I want to remember that it was part of my quarantine experience. Now I'm just moving back to the sidebar and tracking my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Something else I love about Sweet Fox Paper Read Kits is that she always has a Sparks Joy header, which she had told me was inspired by Marie Kondo, and I just really love that. I think it's so positive and so sweet. Now I'm just showing you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit, and I do have quite a bit, so I will save that for my leftovers giveaway, which I think is going to be next week, so be on the lookout for that. And now I'm just giving you a closer look at my spread, even though I didn't use any foils this week, I still wanted you to be able to see some of those details in the spread. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely love how this turned out. I love Sweet Fox Paper Read Kits. They're just so beautiful and always so unique. Um, like I mentioned earlier, Planner Just For You will be releasing the new quarantine theme stickers. And so if you guys are interested in that, make sure you check it out. I know some of you guys probably already placed an order, but if it makes you feel any better, her shipping is super, super affordable. So hopefully that makes you feel a little better if you do want to order again. And if you still want to see some of the pictures of those stickers, then definitely stick around till the end. If not, um, I want to say thank you for watching this video and for supporting my channel. Um, as always, I appreciate that so much and I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. I hope you're staying safe wherever you are, and um, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!